I got in that bag. Once again, I don't know if I'm there, so the top 10 videos. Now, Starbucks, there's no episode on Friday because. Wait, why was there no episode on Friday? I forget. Anyway, so yeah. And don't worry, there, also, there won't be an episode of top 10 on Hunted. No, not to. Not to no, um, no. On, so there will be a top 10 episode on Monday. No, not Monday. I'm like, oh my god, I mean Friday. I mean Friday. There, I mean, bet you that there will be an episode on Friday. God, I can't, I can't get this right. There, there'll be an episode on Friday. So yes, now San Diego Comic Con, well not recently, San Diego Comic Con has wrapped up recently. I mean not not recently. A couple weeks ago, yes, a couple weeks ago, San Diego Comic Con 2014 has wrapped up. I mean a lot of new reveals for movies, uh, video games, TV shows, comics, and um, action figures were revealed and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I thought we were a little appropriate to do uh, figure around the little top ten about you know, San Diego Comic Con. So. So, my first thing, we'll be oh, I'm counting down the top 10 best stuff we saw at San Diego Comic Con. So, let's begin. Number 10 on the list is the hey, book inspired the book inspired movie coming out next year, Goosebumps. Now, a panel was hosted for this film, and it's based around a, a series of books. And I, don't, I don't, I've never read any of the books. And it's based around a series of books a bank called Unnatural Events, I believe. Stuff like that. And yeah, there's a film adaptation of that. Come out next year, so yes, and we'll have our the crazy actor known as Jack Black will will be starring in it. So of course, and I I did oh yeah also to let you guys know I have actually looked I've actually watched many of the panels for for the stuff on this list but not all of them I've watched halfway for many of them because many pan stuff on this list I've watched some of the panels and stuff they're way too long so I had to get this episode done fast. So yeah, as I was saying, Goosebumps. Had um, Jack Black and only who was who was the other guy? I think it was, I think it was the director or writer. I forget. But I forget what his name was. But yeah, they were there. Um, yeah, the reason this uh, this one is on the the list um, is because um, well, Jack Black for the uh, most part is, and he's been in many great films like in School of Rock, Kung Fu Panda, and yeah, uh, he uh, he was like he, the reason why it's on the list because the Jack Black was like with his crazy personality. Um, it made the, the panel really funny and stuff. Especially when he brought out this um ventriloquist puppet named Slappy, and it got really funny. And I, like he and I gotta say he's quite he's quite impressive. There's one point when he asked him when like what what's his favorite like like some like monster or superhero thing he's like excited to see at Comic Con or meet something like that. So we like start make, making him talk while he's drinking and stuff like that. A drinking gag, and actually quite impressive. But we do learn he's actually not even him like you using the puppets. The puppet starts taking control of itself, and it, it, another person actually controlling. Don't worry, it's not it's possessed. Yeah, it made, the, it made the panel really funny and crazy. Um, yeah, so you know, I I might give the, the film a try. I'm gonna go Jack Black. I, I really like I really like I like him. He's I've seen, he's had good movies. I've seen him in many, well, not not many movies. Um, I've seen him in School of Rock, Kung Fu Panda one and two. I don't. I think there's gonna be a, a third one. Um, and the Cable Guy, starring Jim Carrey and Matthew Broderick also, and yeah, <laughs> he, he's cool and funny, so I might give, give this film a try, actually. Number 9 on the list is, is the Agent of the Shield panel. And, well, of course, that was the first, first Marvel related panel on this list. Now, I was just recently watching a bit of the panel, and I didn't get enough I, uh, out of it, and has, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got. What I heard is that we have season two is gonna be coming soon. I, I'm not sure when, but I heard that we got that they revealed a couple new characters that will be in, in the show, and I'm guessing so those new characters will involve them. Um, who's that? What was that guy's kid name? He was a character. He was a, who he was Bill Paxton's character's partner, who then like um I guess like yeah on the show like Bill Paxton had a, his character had a partner. Yeah, it was him. Um, what's his name? Fit. No, I'm, I think I'm thinking. Am I thinking of Fitz? I think his name is Fitz. I figure, I, okay, I figure out what his name is. Sorry about that. Yeah. But yeah, I heard. Um, also, probably um, Pat Oswalt probably a new a new character on the show too. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. Who knows how this new season will be had uh, changed and stuff like that. Since um now uh, Fury made Coulson director of Shield now. He's gonna rebuild Shield and hide on the loose now. And they're on the run. Fitz is in, in like some kind of coma kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's crazy now. 
who knows what's gonna happen. And yeah, and how and see that and if this will actually will affect the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe in a way, or if it will collide with maybe somehow with Avengers Two: Age of Ultron. Who knows? Maybe. But yeah. Anyways, on to number eight. Yeah, th it, that was short, so I don't know much. Number eight, the list goes to um, the Big Bang Theory panel. Um, I watched a bit of that panel and didn't get enough information out of that too. Uh, but yeah, the cast did not show up for this actually. Um, the well, I the beginning of the panel actually was um, and that had the beginning of the panel actually know some um had um the girl who played Raj's the girl who uh, the girl who played Raj's girlfriend for uh, been in the scene, scene six the girl her her character was called Lucy was there with another person I forget what her name was um they they sang and, and like and introduced the they sang and introduced everyone there uh, they sang while introducing everyone and. The guy hosting the panel said they'll get their began TV show and stuff, and yeah, of course, none, none of the cast showed up. No one did. Um, really, more than any of the writers and creators of the show. So yeah, Chuck Lorre did not show up. But people like Bill Prey did. Stephen Molara, I think that's how you pronounce him. Jim Reynolds, um, Dave Gochess, is that how you pronounce it? I don't, that's, I don't know. But yeah, many of those people, uh, many of those people showed up, and yeah, they talked about um stuff like um. They talk about how like many stuff that's gonna how they have light having in the show. Like they talk about like Star Wars Day and uh, how like um the per you know like in Star Wars there was one guy in the Star Darth Vader suit and how one guy was playing the voice for Darth for Darth Vader. Well, that, actually on that episode of on Big Bang Theory called Star Wars, based around Star Wars Day, that was the first time those two people actually ever met. Now I'm not sure what their names were. I forget. Yeah, I'm very bad. <laughs> I don't forget their names were. But yeah, of course. Now, I did also learn from like my, my friend James. He said there will be a season eight of the show. I'm not sure if they talked about that or not. I'm gonna try and kind of like finish all watching all the panels. I never have to finish. But yeah, so but if there but since there is a season eight, hey, who knows what that'll happen? And with since uh, Leonard Penny getting married and Shel Sheldon like left, he's like traveling different areas, stuff. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. The comic stores burnt down, all that stuff. So yeah, who knows how that will change everything in, in the next season. Number seven on our list goes to uh, the the Hobbits Battle of the Five Armies, the panel. Uh, no, no, that, that was a mouthful. Uh, so yes, the the fir Peter Jackson's third film in the Hobbit trilogy. He had a panel there, and the film that film come out next this year. Yeah, it's come out this year. And yeah, they had many people there. I, forgot, I don't know any of their names, but of course, people like Ben the Cumber Ben the Cumberbatch was there, and it's actually one of the many of the couple of panels he was there for. And one of the other panels was being the Penguins of Madagascar panel, which I, I never even knew. I didn't even know. I didn't know he played in in the Penguins of Madagascar or one of the Penguins. But yeah, of course, I'm I'm so yeah. The the third film I've I've seen the trailer for God's sakes. Sorry about that. Uh, I just heard a doorbell ring. And I I I thought I'll go get it and stop the recording, but someone else is getting getting it now. So yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, anyway, so I was saying, and the it, the I saw I saw the trailer for her, the Hobbit when I went to go see her in the Galaxy. It looks quite impressive. It proves to be uh, an amazing ending to the trilogy and stuff. So yeah. Number six on the list is the Arrow panel. A third season has uh, is coming out for the. What the heck? Oh no, I thought the doorbell was ring. Anyway, so yeah, a third season is coming out for Arrow. Many of the cast members did show up, like including producers Steve Stephen Amell, John Barrowman, um Dave Dave was it something Dave something, but yeah, of course they all showed up, talked about first season, and a amazing trailer was shown for it, revealing stuff like that. Of course, Black Canary will be in the show again. Um, uh, Roy will take on the uh, will join Team Arrow and become to take on the name Speedy or Red Arrow, depending on if they decide what to give him. Probably in name Speedy or Red Arrow. Um, uh, I I wouldn't mind the name Speedy, but I would I would like it if they gave him the name Red Arrow her too. Uh, but still, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, they also revealed that um, Ray Palmer, who in the comics many comic fans known as the Atom, who's a superhero who can shrink, who can shrink, will appear in the show too. Uh, they're like they're almost like forming their own little like Justice League in that show. Anyway, like we got like Green Arrow, we got the Flash, Black Canary, the Atom, 
There's even like little Easter eggs to the Blue Beetle in the show, so who you knows? They could be like forming their little, their little Justice League almost. I'll also reveal in the show that Rachel Gould will actually fully make an appearance in the show. They referenced him a couple times in the show, but now he'll finally be appearing in the show. Now, who knows how this guy will stand up against Liam Neeson's performance as Rachel Gould, and I hope they actually put in the stuff that we actually need Rachel Gould to have. Like the Lazarus Pit, Ubu, not having Talia be like the actual main bad guy in the third, in the third Dark Knight, right? Dark Knight Rises film and stuff like that. Whatever. So yeah, uh, it, it appears to be an exciting thing, thing like third season. Number five on the list is Spider Verse panel. Get ready, me and me seeing a lot of Spider Man coming out soon. Uh, surprising, this is the only hey Spider uh, comic comic related panel. Well, you know, even though it's called Comic Con. However, the Spider-Verse panel is actually a panel about a big event happening in the Spider-Verse comics, I mean the Spider-Man comics, where every Spider-Man from the past, except for, well, Sony Spider-Man, will join together in this one comic book, and a lot of stuff was happening there, like, many people did show up, of course, Dan Slott was there, Humberto Ramos, um, uh, Eric, wait, was it, no, Mark Wade, was it, Eric something, and Victor something, I, I forget the names, like, it's hard, I, I have bad memory. They reveal a lot of new stuff will happen, like about how it will be issue free, issue and free, free superior Spider Man, tying in Spider Verse, um, The Edge of Spider Verse, which is a five limited series, issue six and no, issues seven and eight of Amazing Spider Man comics will tie in Spider Verse, issue number five of Spider Man 2099 will tie in Spider Verse. Then there's going to be a separate Spider Verse comic series, like The Scarlet Spiders, which is about all the clone spiders in general. And all the uh, one Spider Verse comic, I'm not sure what it's about, and I forget what it's called. I think it's, I think it's called Spider Verse. I forget. But yeah, also they also reveal a video game for an app, an app game called Spider Man Unlimited, which is like a Spider Verse game also. So yeah, it proves to be awesome. And surprisingly enough, they also talked about no, they also talked about Daredevil in it, and for a little bit. But they also, they also like mentioned DC like three times in a Marvel panel. Like that's odd. They mentioned DC three times in a Marvel panel. It's insane. Speaking of DC, hey, number four on the list is Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham panel. I did not watch that panel, but I did. I am subscribed to a YouTube channel, a gaming YouTube channel, who up to who made videos about Lego Batman stuff at Comic Con. That it's they revealed a lot of new stuff for Lego Batman 3, and I can't wait to play that game. Like they revealed some, they revealed new characters like um the Blue Beetle, um Bat Hound, Booster Gold, Hawkman. And, um, who else? The Blue Beetle, of course, Miss Martian, uh, um, Shazam, and many more, of course. And they also revealed uh, some new suits for Lex Luthor, Joker, and a couple of other stuff. And they also revealed uh, some uh, a, a new a side mission for the game, based around the 1960s Batman TV show, starring Adam West and Burt Ward, of course. I, I bet you, I bet some of you might know what that is. Of course, well, we, the characters from the 1960s TV show uh, that will include. Um, the 1960s Batman and Robin, 1960s Alfred, 1960s Batmobile, 1960s Joker, Riddler, Catwoman, and Penguin, so it proved to be an awesome side mission. And they also revealed that, I think they revealed this up there, but Adam West will be a, 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 Adam West in, a, a citizen, citizen in peril in the game. So like Stanley in peril, but Adam West in peril. So yeah. And they also revealed a new trailer, which makes me so pumped for this game, I can't wait to get it. Number three on the list is another Marvel panel for the Ant-Man panel coming out next year. Now, this was the first of, I think it was the first Marvel panel, but yes, it was the first one, when I believe Kevin Feige showed up, and of course, the couple other, her P, this was the first, now, this couple other, couple other people that showed up, like, Paul Rudd, Michael Douglas, um, who else was there? Yeah, I'm really bad at memories. I don't know my, my names, but yeah. They talk about stuff in the film, and how apparently it's, this was Paul Rudd's first Comic-Con, so, no, he never went to Comic-Con for Anchorman and stuff. Well, they revealed a poster for Ant-Man. They didn't, they actually didn't shoot any footage for the film yet. They haven't shot anything yet. But they did actually show some footage, footage from it that I actually made. So, that's pretty impressive. I did not get to see it and stuff like that. But, yeah, I can't wait to watch that film. It proves to be impressive. Alright, so, number two on the list will be for, for our, our, this one big film coming out in 2016. Get ready to start seeing Batman and Superman fights because it's for Batman v Superman Dawn Justice panel. 
I don't know. Many people were excited to see this panel. It did not last long. It was really <coughs> a short panel, actually. So yeah, Zack Snyder showed up talking about the film, how their introduction as they spoke and stuff like that. And of course, he brought around, brought, brought some friends along. Your you, he brought Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, and Gal Gadot. Here's Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Now, of course, all they did was stand there and not speak at all. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I bet Zack Snyder just told them when, when they come up on the stage, they said, okay, when you come up stage, don't talk, just stand there and be pretty. I, so, something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, just like, just stand there, just just look at people, no, something like that. Uh, that's probably what he said. So, something like that, but of course, okay, uh, okay, I can't, uh, can, what am I trying to say? Mm. Alright, so yeah, they did not speak, but... And did no Q and A and stuff, but they didn't show a teaser trailer. Now I did get, did get to see it. Now it wasn't at Comic Con, but I did see it on YouTube. And it was revealed that as a uh, as a um, Batman and armed up suit that we saw in the Dark Knight Returns. Um, and pull, pulled off um the, the a blanket from the Batmobile and stuff. Um, and the bat the, the bat I mean the from, I mean from the bat signal, not the Batmobile. Um, if the bat signal lit up and Superman flew in front of the bat signal in, in the in, I mean the spotlight, and then his eyes lit up red, and then the entire screen went black, and then all we could see was his eyes just red, and then the logo appears. And we also know that Batman will have white eyes on the armored suit. We saw that in the Dark, in the Dark Knight film, but that was night vision goggles. So yeah, I'm gonna, I can't wait for this film. Now it is t that that here trailer just hasn't been taken down from the interwebs now because anytime someone uploads a trailer. Of something they saw at Comic Con, it gets taken down after a while. But actually, you can sort of see this tra trailer because um, History.com, also known as How It Should Have Ended, have uploaded their latest video. Is actually a video called also How the Batman vs Superman teaser trailer should have ended. Now it's al almost exactly the same. The only difference is the ending. So yeah, that's sort of a way you can watch it. So yeah, they also revealed in some new images, like um, in a new image of Ben Affleck's costume. Well, like we in color this time, it was only a shot of his head, but it was it was in color this time, and we will know. We now know it will be in black and it will be a black and gray costume, and it looks like it doesn't have it looks like it looks like ugh, looks like he doesn't have white eyes from, from the way it looks. So yeah, but we'll get white eyes in an armored suit, and we also got the first look of Gal Gadot's that's Wonder Woman costume. Now it it looks good. It looks like he's like almost tripping it straight out of the comics, and you're probably gonna say, but it barely looks anything like the costume in, in general, but. Wonder Woman has had a number of costumes over the years, so yeah. It, it, to me, it looks like a mixture of the New 52 costume and the Injustice Gotham Among Us costume, so yeah. And, like, I can't wait for the watch this film, it's gonna be impressive. Alright. And number one the, on the list is. Oh, I need water. Where's. No, where's that? I, had, I, I dropped a water bottle today. Like. I have a water bottle on the ground somewhere, but I can't find it now. But, yeah, number one on the list. Is of course Avengers Age of Ultron panel. Of course, Marvel is dominating this list. It was quite an impressive panel. It, it came right after the Ant Man panel. Kevin Feige stayed, and the cast showed up. Everyone was there. Robert Downey Jr., Jeremy Renner, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Hemsworth, Kobe Smoters, Samuel L. Jackson, Chris Evans, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Paul Bettany, and James Spader, and Elizabeth Olsen. It's weird. It's weird that I, it's weird that I can remember all those names, but I can't remember. Any of the other names on the other panels I talked about. That sounds really bad. And now, of course, not everyone was there. Like Scarlett Johansson was not there because she was giving birth at the time, and Joss Whedon was also not there because he had leg surgery around the time of Comic Con and was told not to fly, and, like in a plane. Not he can't actually fly. So yeah, he was so he couldn't show up either. But yeah, it was pretty impressive. It was funny, and they also showed a trailer. Of it and yeah, oh yeah. I forgot to mention one thing. I, I, I just thought of it. And, and for the Ant Man, they also showed um um the Ant Man helmet as a prop as a prop there. So that's pretty impressive. Now back to Avengers. Um, they showed a teaser. Now Scarlett Johansson technically was there. She sent them sent them a video of her talking to them. And yeah, and so yeah, she then and then they rolled the rolled the teaser trailer, which I believe happened. I forget what happened in the teaser trailer, but I believe um they were having a contest to try and see if they can lift. Thor's hammer. Cap could slightly move it because he actually will, because he's actually sort of wordy. He, he, but he gosh, he actually did wield the hammer, his hammer in the comics once. So, so actually look that look that up. It's true. Then then later on, Cap Iron Man's and just like lying down on the ground, surrounded by the bodies of his dead of his friends. I mean, they're not dead. They're not dead because Rob Downey Jr. was signed on to do 
a third Avengers film, and so is everyone else. Plus, plus there's going to be a Captain America 3, a 4 free, a possible Hulk film, and uh, like Black Widow and Hawkeye, of course, are not going to die. So yeah, I can't wait to see this film. Now, of course, uh, they have to, well, they have this one big surprise, because they do this every year. It's like, I think, was it 2012? Yeah, I think it was in 2012. Um, for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 panel, which I believe was in 2012, Comic Centennial uh, Comic Con, um, Spider-Man actually did show up. Huh, it was, of course, it was Andrew Garfield, but technically it was Spider-Man. Then last year at Comic Con, Loki crashed it, and like it actually showed up too. So Marvel had to have another big surprise for us, and of course it did. With Josh Brolin, who's playing the one and only Thanos, showed up wearing the Infinity Gauntlet, not the actual one, and yeah, confirming he was playing him. Now they they've a while ago they already confirmed he was playing him, but he, but he never said anything about it. But until then, this he did confirm it. So yeah, it was quite funny when he did come there because he asked Robert Downey Jr. where is his rose because. Robert Downey Jr. He threw out roses to everyone in the crowd, and he gave one that rose to Josh Brolin, and then he ate it. <laughs> but he didn't actually ate it; he just bit it and just spit it out. That was quite, that's quite funny. There's also a prop there of Captain America's broken shield. Uh oh, what does that mean? I mean, I can't wait. Uh, of course, Josh Brolin was also in um, the Guardians of the Galaxy film as Thanos briefly in like one scene, and then briefly in another scene. So yeah, but of course, so he, we will see him. In Avengers 3. Maybe. He probably. Yeah, he, I think. Yeah, was he? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be the main film in Avengers 3. So, yeah, but yeah. But that's the first, first list, guys. And but something else. What do you. What was your favorite uh, like, thing you saw at Comic Con? And what, uh, what did you think I like, missed on this list? So, I'll see you guys, guys later. Harris. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me in the comments if you. And if there's anything else I missed. So, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys later.